Hello everyone, and welcome to a series I'm calling Real, Real Life, Life Pokemon. So MegaCon is happening in less than a month, and my Solera costume is taking much longer than I originally thought. So I need something else. I have a group of friends going down that are dressing up as Pokemon trainers, and I want to join in on the fun. So when I was brainstorming ideas for what I could go as, one idea stuck in my mind, Bug Catcher. The Bug Catcher trainer is one of the original trainers and is something that sticks in everyone's mind if they've played the Pokemon video games. And so thinking about what I could do for the Bug Catcher, the costume itself is pretty simple. Shirt, shorts, a bug net, and a hat. But he has this kind of bug box with him. And they don't really tell you what it is in the game. But most people assume it's a, either a bug box where he keeps his Pokemon or a lunchbox or something like that. When looking through some fan art, I came across this fan art of the bug catcher. And he holds this box, which with inside he has two Pokeballs. So I wanted to make something cool because cosplay is all about the props. So I started thinking, hey, maybe I could design a Caterpie that could fit inside that box. And I can carry around the box and there would be the Caterpie and that would be cool. However, that was not enough for me. I want to make an animatronic Caterpie. Yes, I want a real-life Caterpie, which I can hold, and have it move with some electronics and some special effects, that kind of thing, because I think that would be awesome. So here I am. There's a month left till Megacon, and I am starting my animatronic Caterpie project. So there's going to be a few parts to this series. In this first part, I'm going to take a look on how to make the Caterpie move and kind of get started with what I'm thinking going forward. So here's our beloved bug Pokemon. This is the Caterpie I'm going to recreate. So I'm going to split this Caterpie into four distinct parts. I'm going to have the head, I'm going to have the middle thorax, I'm going to have the main thorax, and then the tail. And inside of this, I'm going to have an Ar my Arduino Mini controlling separate servos that'll make the head move up and down, the torso move up and down, the tail move, and that. And that way I can have it all compact within the Caterpie, and I'm going to be able to take the Caterpie out of the box and carry it around with me and hand it to people, and the Caterpie will be moving, and it will be awesome. And I want this Caterpie to be as full size as I can make it. If we go down here to the heights, we see that it is a foot tall or a foot long. I'm going to take that as the measurements from the tip of its antenna to the tip of its tail. So I'm going to try to make my Caterpie be 12 inches long, which is actually pretty small considering the amount of electronics I'm going to have to cram inside of it, including a battery and all the wiring and everything like that. So the first step is to grab my Arduino Mini and hook up some servos and kind of get a basic feel for what's going on. So let's head to the Arduino Mini. So this is just a test to make sure that the servos were wired up correctly to the Arduino Mini here. And it looks like they are, and it looks like all of the, uh, the header pins were soldered on correctly and haven't had any faults in the logic, so now it's time to move on to the next step. I don't have the Caterpie printed yet, but what I can do is I'm just going to glue these horns to a popsicle stick, and we're going to kind of simulate uh, the Caterpie. So we can start working on the program and see if this is actually going to do what I think it's going to do. So here we go. It is time for the first prototype. So you can see here that I have the three servos mounted to just popsicle sticks. You can just see one popsicle stick and then the butt back one for the tail. And so this represents the head of the Caterpie, the uh, thorax, the middle part, and then the tail of the Caterpie. And what I've done is I've created a uh, Arduino script where I can control each of these independently using the numpad. So I can tell, if you look at the head, I can tell the head to go down 10 degrees each time or up 10 degrees each time. And I can do the same with the thorax and the tail. So down 10, back to center, and then up 10, back to center, and the same with the tail. Down, center, up. So this gives me uh, A, insights on how I need to code this. It also shows me that this concept will work, so that's awesome to see. It also gives me a little way to debug things. Um, it, I can tell which position each servo's at, and that'll be great. So the next step after this proof of concept is to actually start coding the natural movement of the Caterpie. 
And I've got a, a few ideas on how to do that, but that's going to be the most time-consuming part because I have to create motion that I can kind of script. You know, I need to be able to program it, but it also needs to be able to, it needs to look natural and look fluid enough so where it looks like the Caterpie is alive and not some crazy animatronics from the 1960s kind of thing. So that's the next step, and that's going to be definitely one of the longer steps. And here's a little bit more work on the software. As you can see, I am controlling all three servos independently, and I've really written the code behind it to be pretty generic and pretty robust. And I can just tell it's uh, the angles that I want every servo to go to and the amount of time that I want the move to take and it will do all the calculations and smoothing for me and I think it's coming together pretty nicely and considering that I've had this Arduino for less than uh, 12 hours at this point I think this is a pretty good start. So that's it for this video. Join me next time for when I go over the shell of the Caterpie and how I'm designing it and how I plan on actually making this shell. So next week we should be able to throw these servos into a frame and make it look like a Caterpie. So subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. But the servos are all in place if I turn the Caterpie around. You can see the mechanics in action. You can see how the three servos are all acting independently, moving to random positions. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.